for me to come to OU was fulfilling my father's dream. So I came to OU, my brother came to OU. Uh, I met and married David Burr, who was working at OU at the time. Our children have come here, and now next fall, uh, our oldest granddaughter will uh, come to OU. So that's four generations, and it just, I guess, got in our blood. Well, I started writing when I was in the third grade. When I was 16, I worked at the Blackwell Journal Tribune uh, until I graduated from college. My senior year, I was editor of the Daily. Uh, I really thought I would pursue newspapers, and uh, a fellow by the name of Dick Smith was the editor of Sooner Magazine. He contacted me when we built Copeland Hall and asked me to write a story for Sooner Magazine on the new building. And so Dick uh, hired me as assistant editor of Sooner Magazine. The first assignment after I'd done the story on the building, J. Had Howard Edmondson was running for governor of Oklahoma. And for some odd reason, he uh, agreed to let Dick and me spend the day with he and his family. Uh, and then in the afternoon, he left to make a TV broadcast. And we watched the, that broadcast with his wife. And I think that was when it first dawned on me that Sooner Magazine wasn't just some little publication put out for alumni with class notes, that in the minds of the people who received it, it was more than that. It was their link to the University of Oklahoma, their link to good memories, uh, and really where they had gotten their start. I suddenly had a lot more respect for this little publication and began to see that it had a certain amount of stature. I got married. Uh, my husband was uh, director of public information here and assistant to Dr. Cross. And uh, when we were expecting our first child, why, uh, I followed the routine that uh, most women did in those days as I went home to take care of my children. But I was offered the opportunity to restart Sooner Magazine because it had gone out of publication in the meantime. So in, in about 1980, I came back. Well, we started out with kind of a strange philosophy because we were not an alumni magazine. We didn't have class notes. We didn't have the club news. We didn't have that sort of thing. We started out uh, from the very beginning to put out a general interest magazine. I have a column which I call Prologue. It's, it's me uh, being allowed to talk to the alumni. Uh, I write much less than I used to. That I spend a lot of my time cultivating writers, uh, going after stories, going after people to write stories for us, uh, which we do by assignment. And uh, we have uh, have some very good people writing for us. Well, if we can do that. I do think more about the totality of the issue rather than individual uh, articles. Uh, one that we are particularly proud of was one we did uh, when the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History opened. So we did something that we just never do, is we did a special issue on the museum. And uh, we covered it just as thoroughly as we possibly could. Uh, we had great photography. Uh, it looked good. It read very well. And we were very proud of it. And I think we won a bronze medal at the national case uh, competition for that. And uh, uh, that, was, that was pretty special. Well, the other issues, you know, you try to achieve balance and you try to do things that, uh, uh, you know, have a little bit for every, everybody. A fellow, when I first started on Center Magazine, who ran the, uh, who was a, my printer, actually, eventually his advice to me, always have something in every issue for the bald-headed guy out there who really isn't interested in a lot of the stuff that, that you're going to put in this magazine. And I thought about that, and I thought, you know, 
It takes all kinds of people and all kinds of interests, and there has to be something light to balance out the serious things that we want to talk about. I, people say, you know, when are you going to retire? Well, I don't know when I'm going to retire. Uh, you have to have something to retire to, and when I find something that is more fun than what I'm doing, why well, then I'll think about retiring. But to tell you the truth, I enjoy coming to work every day of my life. Uh, I believe in what we're doing, and I'm very sincere about that. It's not just a job with me. Uh, it's, it's been my life.